honestly. A normal family is complicated, even the best ones, so all I want is for everyone to be happy and I love, I love them and I want happiness for all of them. Britney Spears is not happy with Jamie Lynn's recent press tour. It's scary and uncomfortable, but it's important. Yeah, it's gotten so bad that Britney's lawyer sent Jamie Lynn a cease and desist. I think that I said everything that I needed to say. My voice matters, and I got to say it out loud, finally. Everyone is um, supportive of this healing process, and no one's process looks the same. That really doesn't seem to be the case. Britney's lawyer, Matthew Rosengart, sent the following to the pop star's sister. In part, quote, we write with some hesitation because the last thing Britney wants is to bring more attention to your ill-timed book and its misleading or outrageous claims about her. I was a kid. I just knew I didn't feel, I knew I felt really scared, and especially from somebody that like, when I'm scared, I run to you. Why am I now scared with you? From talking about an alleged incident involving a knife on the Call Her Daddy podcast to talking about how Britney's behavior during tough periods made Jamie Lynn feel on Good Morning America. Words that you've used in the book to describe her behavior over the, your lifetime was erratic, paranoid, spiraling. How do you see your sister's state of mind currently? I can't really speak to anyone else's state of mind. I don't think that's fair. But I'm allowed to say how I felt in those because that matters. It matters that I was in pain. Brittany and her lawyer are asking Jamie Lynn to refrain from mentioning Brittany during her press tour, saying, quote, if you all fail to do so or defame her, Brittany will be forced to consider and take all appropriate legal action. My relationship is and always will be that I'm her little sister. I love and support her. And nothing will change that. While Jamie Lynn claims to support Brittany, most of the press being done for her book has been centered on her sister. She spoke with Extra about a moment during quarantine where she allegedly got into an altercation with Brittany. What happened in that instance and kind of how did you move past it? I think that that was just another example of me seeing my family dynamics as families, you know, especially in quarantine, you know, it's all up and down. <laughs> but for me, as an adult, for the first time, seeing my family dynamics and the unhealthy situation that I was now able to control and take myself out of was really powerful as well as awakening. The cease and desist continues, quote, Although Brittany has not read and does not intend to read your book, she and millions of her fans were shocked to see how you have exploited her for monetary gain. She will not tolerate it, nor should she. And it adds, quote, you recently reportedly stated that the book was not about her. She takes you at your word, and we therefore demand that you cease and desist from referencing Brittany derogatorily during your promotional campaign. I think this line stood out to me. The years I spent protecting her and being the loyal sister have been in vain. Can you explain what that means? I think that's more about myself and my handling of mm. things. I was acting out of wanting to please everyone else. And when I say in vain, I mean like I just should have respected myself enough to speak up and, and say what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And um, not always consider what everyone else wanted from me.